I'm taking a case against Pearson Hardman. It's Folsom Foods. Do you know it? Um, of course. It's a gender discrimination case. Well, I wanted to give you a chance to get off it if you wanted. Well, I'm not, but okay. It's just that I know you keep a low profile at work. That was supposed to be between me and Mom. Well, I wish you could tell me these things. And I wish that you uh, didn't keep the fact that I was your father a secret. It's not a secret. I just don't broadcast it. People treat me differently once they find out you're my dad. Are you worried that they're judging you for being a paralegal? No, Dad. Only you judge me for being a paralegal. Yeah. I do not judge you. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm not planning on being a paralegal forever. <laughs> I know. Right there. You can't even pretend to believe I have what it takes to be a lawyer. Rachel, you are a beautiful woman. And you can do whatever you want. Beautiful, not smart. Honey, I am trying to give you a heads up, and you're taking the whole thing as an indictment. Do you believe I have what it takes to be a lawyer? It's been five years, and it hasn't happened. I just wonder if you've considered trying something else. Of all days. Hey, Rachel, how was your birthday? Great. My dad told me that I should aim lower. Please, Rachel, that is not what I meant. Let's just have lunch. No, Dad, really, I wouldn't want you to overeat on the day that you told me that I won't amount to anything. Rachel. You want to know if I want to be in on the deposition? You did ask on the case. Yes, I did. And before you ask me if I'm tough enough to be in there, I want you to know that I am tough enough. That's not what I wanted to ask. I want to know if you think it'll rattle your father. Frankly, I don't think he'd care. Good. Why good? Because if that's what you think about him, then your relationship is worse than you think. And he cares about you more than you know. OK, let me get this straight. So you hit a wall, you blame my client. And rather than figuring out what it takes to make it in this perfect fit, you give up and fold like a house of cards. I don't know what law school you went to, but I was always taught that depositions require questions. I went to Harvard. And here's your question. After all these interviews for all these jobs, why didn't you just pursue one of them and switch careers? It would require a step backward. Isn't it true it didn't require a step backward? But that's all you could find, because no one thought you were any good at the job you had in the first place. You don't know that. I have sworn testimony from a headhunter who said nobody wanted you. OK, you're badgering her. The truth is, you're untalented and pathetic and blaming other people because you don't have the skills or the fortitude or anything else to make it in your chosen field. And you don't even have the courage to try something else. I'm sorry, I just wanted to make sure that the court reporter got all that. Did you hear it down there? We heard it. Did you misunderstand me when I said to cut Robert Zane off at the knees? You too? Oh, don't tell me you think I went too far. I don't think you went far enough. What? Your client just called. She wants to take Zane's bullshit settlement. The offer on the table is two million. Just went down to one. Robert. Now it's 500,000. You're pretty good at this. Remind me to have you buy my next car for me. Now it's 100,000. No, wait. Here. No one wins if we go to war. You don't have children, do you? You came to my house and threatened my firm. Your house? You put my little girl in that deposition so she could see me shred that woman, which I did because that's my job. And I was trying to protect that woman. That was my job. But your client is scared shitless. So I guess that means that I did my job a lot better than you did yours. The settlement is gone. You want something? You come take it at trial. Mike said he pulled the settlement, and we can't let that happen. We? Yes, we. I work here, too. Now I get it. Yeah, no, no, no. This, this, isn't, this isn't about me and my father. This is about the client. You know, I meant why Donna likes you so much. Oh, thank you, Ed. I like her, too. Uh, you know what? what? I was going to give in and drop this case. But now that you accosted me during my me time, I'm going to change my mind and do what you said. You were going to continue with it anyway. Yes. Right. Would you like to eat my bagel now, too? Oh, thank you. I... I'm so sorry.
idea about Folsom Foods. You too? What? You are not getting my bagel. Why would I want your bagel? Never mind. What do you got? I checked the review of every promotion from the last five years. Every time they don't promote a woman, they use some combination of the same 16 words. And the men? No. What are the words? High strong, sensitive, aggressive, abrasive. Coded language. They went out of their way to shield themselves from any one person bringing a gender discrimination suit, which means they treated all of them the same. As a class? Yeah. And guess how many? 113 female employees across all 22 divisions. You know what they have in common? All denied promotions due to the fact that they're women, not that they're untalented or pathetic or lack the fortitude to excel in their chosen field. This is a crock of shit. You didn't want to settle for two million. You'll be lucky to settle for 200 million. Robert, play all the golf you want. Judge Benjamin isn't gonna get you out of this one. I want to talk about the deposition. Rachel, you and I cannot talk about the case. I said the deposition, not the case. I don't give a shit about the case. Then why did you take it? Because you took me out for my birthday and told me you were picking a fight with my family and said, sit it out, little girl. You can't handle this. Do you know why I love that picture? Because I'm still your little girl. Because you were happy. You remember what happened at those tryouts? Yeah, I didn't get the part. And it killed you. I was a child. And most children let things go. But you never tried out for a play again. I did other things. But why aren't you doing other things now? I am watching you fail and stall and beat yourself up. <sighs> and it rips me up inside. I took the LSATs. I got a 172. When? Six weeks ago. And you're just telling me now. <laughs> I didn't want to hear some joke about your 177. Oh, uh, but... When we were in that room, I know you were talking to her, but it was like you were aiming everything right at me. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe you look at all of us that way. Rachel. Well, we're not all the same. And you need to toughen up, because I am not that little girl anymore. I'm dropping the case. Why? Because I never should have taken it in the first place. Dad. You said it yourself. I picked a fight with your family, told you to sit it out. And those aren't words a man should ever hear from, it, from his daughter. You're not tough enough. Not even close. <laughs> well, we never finished our lunch. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. But we'll have to pick a new place. I already tried that foie gras of yours. You did? Yep. And? Tasted like ass. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you guys made up. It's a start. Well, I didn't want to interrupt, and I know I'm a few days late, but... Is that... Your LSAT score? Yeah. I figured... You shouldn't keep things like this a secret. Thanks, Mike. Happy birthday. How did you know it was my birthday? Oh, right. I must have told you once. You did, yeah. I mean, I forgot. Yeah, this is from Donna. Come on. <laughs> that is exact. I just saw that. <laughs> yeah, that's how fast I am. You're impressed. It's no big deal.